Hi everyone, my name is Amel Avram for AE Talks Plus and let's first have a look at what we're going to be creating today. Okay, I would like to be completely honest with you. I have tried to record and re-record this tutorial for about two and a half months now, but every time I start to do it, something always seems to come up, either it's a job or a new project or whatever, and I never get a chance to finish this uh, tutorial. So I'm going to do a short tutorial, and what we're going to do, what we're going to create is the texture itself, and we're gonna skip the entire cubes session. Okay, so let's go. First, we're going to create a new composition. We'll make it 400 by 400. We'll call this one ramp. And we're gonna add it a new solid. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter which color. And we're going to add it the ramp effect. The ramp effect should be a radio ramp. The start of the ramp should be in the middle and the end of the ramp should be at the bottom. Somewhere around here. Should be fine. Okay. I'm gonna change the start color to I don't know something about maybe green and the end color to blue or purple or doesn't really matter this looks nice maybe a lighter green okay the end color should always be darker than the start color to get uh, the correct final result Next, we're going to create a new composition, again 400 by 400, and we're going to call it Texture. And into the texture, we're going to drag the ramp, comp, we're going to create a new adjustment layer called Effects. I always find uh, applying effects to us to an adjustment layer easier and more correct than uh, applying it to the layer itself. We're going to apply three effects to the adjustment layer. First one is grid. And it should be normal with the height sliders. I'll make it 75 by 75 and that should be fine. Next we're going to apply Glow. And let's play with it a bit. Turn it to Alpha Channel. No, Color Channel. Okay. And we'll lower the Glow Radius to 0. And let's play a bit with the glow threshold until we get this uh, circle. Play with it till you get something nice, something around this should be good. And next, we're going to apply the CC vector blur. So, CC vector blur. And here's what we're going to do to it is the amount should be. You just need to play with it. That's about right. And I use the lightness as is, and the map softness should be a bit softer till you get something you like. Okay. So right now we have a nice little, we have a real nice texture, but the vector blur added uh, an alpha channel. So what we're going to do is pre-compose these two layers. So Control Shift C, move all our attributes into the new composition. We go. We'll call it uh, texture 
free comment. And we're going to drag the ramp beneath it so it completes the alpha gaps created by the CC vector blur. And right now we have a static texture which doesn't really do anything. But if we'll change the colors, we'll see the texture has changed and that's it <laughs> no that's not it changing and animating the texture this way by jumping from one frame one uh, composition to another is a real awkward way to work so we're going to create a nice control panel to do that and to, to do that we're going to create a new composition call it main comp to that comp we're gonna create we're gonna drag the texture we're gonna create a new adjustment layer call it uh, control layer or control panel and let's see First, I want to control the colors, the two colors in the ramp. Oh, you know what? To get the texture a bit uh, more interesting, I'm going to duplicate this one. Call, actually, I'm going to call this one uh, texture 01 and call this texture 02. And I'm going to scale it down to about 75% and rotate it 45 degrees. And I'm going to play with the blending modes, maybe overlay, it's a bit rough, screen, soft light. Let's see. I'm just uh, pressing the shift plus buttons. This looks nice. Shift plus and shift minus. This works nice. Okay, now we get a uh, even more interesting texture. So, once again, first I want to control the colors of the texture. So I'll create a uh, Go to Effects, Expression Controls, and Color Control, and call this uh, Start Color. Duplicate it, and call this one End Color. Okay, and next, what we're going to do is we're gonna move the oh, uh, Click hold the left button on the ramp composition and drag it up. Now the ramp uh, composition is in a separate uh, place and we can, if you'll hit the solid and hit E, you'll see the effect. Let's uh, see things clear here. Okay. And hit E on the control panel so we can see the effects here as well. And what we're going to do now is alt click on the start color in the ramp composition, drag the pick width to the start color in the control panel, and do the same to the end color from the ramp composition to the end color in the main comp in the control panel. And that's it. We can close the ramp composition. And right now it doesn't look much, but that's because we got uh, both colors red. And we're gonna change that. Let's see what was it. Blue and uh, that's really matter. Green, whatever. But now you can see how the color changes the texture. So if I'll play with it, I can get real in interesting results.
Okay. <laughs> and that's the key to the whole animation. So right now, let's say in uh, this point in time, I want the colors to be as is, and I'll go to and I'll go to frame uh, to one second later in the timeline and change the colors to purple and let's see uh, blue maybe something green or just play with it till you get something you like and you can see the texture change now this holds so many animation options inside it I use this texture to build the cubes and uh, I actually change the texture every time the cubes hit the ground which was one uh, second every one second the cubes hit the ground and oh I did one more thing there and that's I added a bit of a wiggle to the color below this expression I added the uh, wiggle so wiggle open parentheses and I use I think what, what was it uh, 0.8 because I don't want a real uh, mellow a real uh, subtle uh, wiggle so it was 0.8 comma 0.3 I think but you can play with these numbers okay and again to this uh, to the end color I'll add the wiggle 0.8 comma 0.3 Actually, that's not that subtle. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's make it 0.5 and 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times a second and 0.1. Oh, sorry, 1. Okay, that's a bit more subtle. And we, we get a different result. And, and that's it that's my color control texture and uh, I hope someday <laughs> I will have the time to take to do the tutorial on how I did the jumping cubes with this texture of course you don't have to use this uh, dimensions you can use any dimensions you want I hope you enjoyed this tutorial once again my name is Ramin Abraham for AE Plus and thank you very much <laughs>